I still don't know what to draft with Imperius. Like, uh, do I get a second tank? Do I get a bruiser? Do I just let him solo tank? Because, well, I think that he can solo tank. He has, like, his struggles at some points, but every, I guess, every tank has a weakness, right? Um, but, like, I don't know. Oh, it's Stitches. It's like, I just kind of have to pick an Uberak now. Because it's just like such a damn good counter. Uh, alternatively, that's um okay. They have like two melee heroes, right? We can try to punish that. You know how I was saying that I don't know whether or not we need like a bruiser, a tank with Imperius or, or something. Well, now we got a tank who is a bruiser. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that works, I guess. I hope. Like, I will be able to catch all of them relatively easily. Uh, Stitches should not have an easy time, like, if he decides to go for Gorge. Uh, I, even if he gorges me, I can just spawn my Legion of uh, Army of the Dead. Legion of the Army of the Dead. And uh, it will tank all of the, like, tower shots for me and everything, so that's not too big of a deal. Uh, and then also I will be able to catch uh, people like very consistently, very often, uh, with all of my roots and slows. And Usher cannot save all of them, right? Uh, so eventually people should start dying. And I think that's going to be the goal. As long as we don't just like overinvest into killing one person, I think we should be more or less fine. I don't know what to pick here. That's a rough choice. Because I really like Frost Presence, like the fact that you can root their whole team with just one cast of W. It's just so good. It's like very, very powerful, both offensively and defensively. And Rhyme will only benefit my defenses. So maybe technically Frost Presence is better because, well, it's it's more. It's more than just one, one thing. We need to be careful with the hooks, by the way. And with me dying, that's also not that, not that fun. Uh, sorry, Golden almost blew him up, but we should be okay. Nazebo went top, which I don't really approve of. I could have went top, uh, and then they would have been able to rotate mid bottom, stack up Nazebo real fast because he he needs that. He truly needs that. Okay. And now I need to, now, and I, look, Nazebo needs to stack up his trade, but what I need to do is finish up my Frost Presence. Because uh, it's relatively easy to get done, so you want to complete it as fast as possible, get that value right away. Uh, and, uh, and Gul'dan is dead, okay. So, like, just, we should just stay together. Like, we should just rotate together as a team. Like, it's okay to just let a couple of minions die. Uh, because as long as you are staying together, uh, that means people just won't die that easily. And you can maybe catch a kill or two. That's good. That's good. Now we are rotating middle. So now, things are happening the right way. Got another stack here. Oh, let's see if we can save Gul'dan. From zero to Z attack, speed slow should kick in now. Also, Stitches is in a little bit of a trouble. Not too much. And... Oh, I'm gonna blow up. Okay. I didn't... Somehow, that didn't hit Stukov. Or maybe it's because I already had um, the ignite that already spread from somebody. Maybe that was the case. I'll pick up Frozen Wastes. Uh, not only it makes... That, so that your slows linger uh, after you are done with the quest. It also greatly reduces the mana cost and that just lets you use your uh, E basically permanently throughout the team fight and that's very good. And that's very very good. So Nazebo is doing decently well now, right? 29 stacks, that's not too bad. Let's see what we can do with this Usur. Fur will murderize him. He really overextended trying to kill that Gul'dan. Um, so that was a choice that he made. 
And then he paid for it. Okay. Just did a little bit of fog there to Greymane. Not too big of a deal. Just trying to get my quest done. For that I need to stay in fights. I'm gonna leave that lane kind of open. So that my Zebo can come and kill it if he wants to. If not... Okay, I... I, for some reason, I just let him do that. I was like, oh yeah, like he's just stealthy, he's just not going to do anything here, right? And then he, he did bad things. Bad things have happened, I'm gonna body block there. Hook there. Uh, there is Zeratul. I'm gonna stay in the middle here so that everyone is permanently slow. My healing was too late. I was... I already was mid in like in the middle of cast of my death coil and I was thinking about using it a little bit earlier but I wanted to bait in somebody to overextend and I should not have done that because it's not like we can punish them and it's like if I healed a little bit earlier maybe I would have survived just maybe um yeah icebound fortitude I really like that uh, reduction on crowd control and especially against uh, all of these punishers uh, that makes me like a really good initial tank for the punisher uh, when it jumps in and stuns somebody because like it's really hard to follow up on that 50 75 percent stun reduction and it's even better than I thought wonderful that's that's real good. Okay, that's hooks, 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 team hooks. And there it goes. And there it goes. <laughs> that route was bad. I didn't think that Zeratul will take that much damage, so I was trying to just disengage their team instead of uh, actually catching him. I should have. Okay. I guess we do have damage if we want it to happen. Uh, Suko is doing the Postal build, okay. Okay, and Gul'dan is doing Q? Q build? Okay. So I just should expect a lot of damage coming out from Gul'dan kind of consistently rather than with his ease, which is fine. Um, yeah, we're just gonna try to play around our teammates. We're gonna try and do that. Also, I have only 10 stacks in my Frost Presence. That's pretty garbage. It has more range now, so I can... I can stack it easier, but... Yeah. But I'm not doing that. So that's not great. Okay, since they are middle now, I will go bottom. Try not to lose any of that experience. Because... Oh boy, we need it. Uh, they are doing the bottom camp right now, most likely. So we, sh we, need we should need to be a little bit careful. They are level 10, we are not. They are definitely doing... Oh, they actually got scared. What? Unless this is a, an elaborate bait for us. This is weird. Oh, it was only Keltas? Really? Okay. Okay, let's pick up this army after that. Syndragosa could be powerful. Uh, it's like if you win the objective phase and then... Uh, uh, your Punisher is pushing, you just send Ragosa into the middle of their like fort. It gets frozen and Punisher now does a lot more damage in the middle of the fort. Uh, like, um, because Punisher will be inside of the fort range, uh, he will not be dying. Okay, that's a Divine Shield by the way. And... And that's at the darkness. Oh my lord, that was so clutch. I can't believe I'm alive. Also, I can't believe that we haven't killed anybody either. It's like... That was a team fight where people should have died, and nobody did. Oh man, that, that stun though. That was a damn good stun. By Keltas. 
Because I would have rooted stitches and then I wasn't able to. So well played. Yep. That's that's lame. Can we win this? Like somehow magically maybe? Probably not. Probably not. Not without cooldown, right? Like he's our objective killer and we lost him. And that's gonna be another hook. Damn it sucks. Oh, we really should disengage that. The Punisher will jump. Don't go there. Im oh, no. Uh, uh, it's dead. He is so dead there. Okay. So when the Punisher spawns against your team, do not run through your lane. Like, run through the jungle. That was really good, by the way. Run through the jungle, because that's where the Punisher won't go. And that means you will be able to not tank his jump, inevitably. Uh, gorge. Be careful with the Gorge. That's enough to kill him, right? Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. Just a little bit more damage would have killed him. Okay. Okay. Okay, weird things are happening like people aren't dying when they should uh, and then stitches just gets a hook and people die instantly So like that's the only thing that's going as planned so far just stitches hooks Ah, Well played well played Keltos. He used uh, the ignite on one of the minions that was about to die and that that let them just Do nasty stuff to us uh, shattered armor? Do they have lots of armor sources? How much armor does Uther give right now? I need to like check it because if he gives 10 then I can negate it with shattered armor, right? It would be the counterplay or whatever. Let's see if they go. Nope. Because I don't know. That would definitely like define what I want to pick here. Otherwise I'm picking biting cold because I don't know. Because if Uther gives 15 armors and it... I, I don't... I still don't know how those armor changes work. It's it's weird. Okay, heal. Oh, it's 25? Okay. There is no way I'm picking Shattered Armor against that. Because he will just completely negate it, right? It's gonna be 25 all the time. Okay, I'm coming back, team. Oh, that was nice here, but inconsequential. Okay, Uther saved Greymane, but died himself. And then I can do this for a little bit. Some of my Legion boys actually were trapped in the Void Prison. Yep, that's cool. That's nice. That's gonna be huge for us. That's also a very staggered death. And those ones are very good. Okay, go damn Q. Okay. It's fine. We didn't want that kill anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go back. So, yeah. So I'm gonna go back. We should win this. Sitches won't be there. We should like set up our defenses real fast and soak that lane, that, that, that wave. Oh, good job, Stukov. Because that's our road to 16 right there. Oh, wow. Okay, so Imperius was able to distract them top. That's good. That means we should have this objective. It has to be ours. Right? It has to be ours. Oh yeah, you are not going anywhere, Stitches. Not with me here. Okay, can we kill this uh, Stitches though, team? Nice! Now it's happening, cool. 
That was a very greedy gorge, by the way. Like, he had no follow-up for it. He only had Keltas with him. Everyone else was deep inside the objective. And now the real fun begins. We got our Remorseless Winter, and also I'm able to just dive with the Punisher now. That's exactly what I'm going to do. From now on, I will even start mounted, then wait for the Punisher jump, root somebody, then stay next to them, and... Uh, yep. Yep, and that's game over for them. So let's see how deep we can go here. Still would be nice to have Imperius with us, but I think it's fine. Like, we are not yet at the point in the game where we can easily end. Uh, so the fact that he is soaking should help us out quite a bit here. Okay, I will dive this. I am diving this. Okay. Well, we got one kill. Some of my boys are tanking. There's gonna be a void prison. We should not stack up. Okay, cool. Disengaged. Oh, wait. Gul'dan is actually using that uh, maximum health thingy. Really, dark bargain. Okay. Okay, then. Well, we don't want you with us, Gul'dan, anyway. <laughs> we don't want you. <laughs> we don't want you on our team anyway, so you can just stay dead forever if you want. They buffed it, right? Like, it used to be 25%, now it's 30 I still... it's still like 15% more to spawn time, and... Not 15%, but 15 seconds to your spawn time, and that's huge. Like, that's a lot of seconds. Like, that Imperius is gonna respawn faster than Gul'dan. <laughs> Oh, that was so good from Stukov. Oh my lord. That was brilliant. That side. Wow. Okay. Good job. Good job, Stukov. Really well done. Also, he is doing. He is doing like spreading spores that uh, like do damage and stuff. I, I like that. That's a waste of a Void Prison and a uh, Gargantian. But I guess Zeratul is at his level 16 spike, so he's trying to get as much damage as possible. That's a dead Greymane. There is no way that guy should be able to escape this. Whoa, he really didn't go there? Wow, he is... Is that movement speed? Yes, okay. Because that's like the only way he would have been able to run that way, that fast. Uh, because like I came there and I didn't see him going in. I should have if he was at his default movement speed uh, But because he is running faster than a mount just on his four legs or two legs even Oh Nice nice hook good try good attempt. Uh, we didn't really have anybody to save uh, an azebo Like I was here, but I can only do so much uh, are we diving this? We're not level 20 yet, but we will be soon. We need to be careful with the uh, gorge. With that. We need to be careful with that. Okay, that's a divine shield. That's good. Good trade so far. But yeah, we need to be careful with those things. Um, anti-magic shell would not really be too help. Well, maybe it will be actually, but it's like a 60 second cooldown. It's usually best used against things like Pyroblast or Keltuzad, right? And they have, um, they have Keltas and Zeratul, and both of them throw out their skill shots every couple of seconds, so it won't be able to mitigate too much. So I'm just gonna use Legion of North Rand. Maybe move movement speed would have helped too. That's why I could be chasing Stitches down when he is um, grabbing people. That's not too bad of a play. Zeratul is definitely looking for a Void Prison. Uh, so if he ever gets it, I should just, uh, instead of like, going into the Void Prison, I should um, uh, try and disengage their team instead. You don't need me teammates, right? Because I'm just hanging out with Skeltas here. 
I'm just hanging out with Kelta Sensor Boys here. That's a root. Oh man, those... Th does he have infinite explosions? Because that seems like what, what he does. What he is doing. I need a little bit of mana. Just like a tiny bit of mana. From any source. Okay. Cool. Oh, we lost that so hard. That was a really bad fight for us. It lasted too long and they got so much value from their objectives. God, that was bad. That was so bad. Okay, I'm gonna grab this and uh, I kind of want to go with the Punisher and just commit to this. I feel like it needs to do damage. So I would like to do that. I would like to do that. I'm gonna spawn my Legion and everything so that we can kill the keep. No, why? Come on. Now we need to be careful about Stitches because he is now regenerated and uh, he is also uh, having his Gorge ready. Hook. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> that like hooked his cloak, ripped it apart a little bit. Oof. We need to play smart now. Like, we are now slowly pushing middle end, so we just want to get the advantages in other places. Hey there, Atul. How many blinks do you got? Because I've got roots for days. Not enough blinks. Clearly. Okay. Two killed. I want to survive! And I will. Is that... Okay, I need to check it. Yes, that is Master of Flame Skeltas. Okay, we gotta be careful with how we are fighting. Hey, I'm full health, guys. Did you miss me? Did you miss your good old good old friend, uh, Arthas? Oh, oh, is that it? That is just it. Okay, those explosions are gonna murder us in this choke. We need to leave. We need to leave. And in fact, I'm pretty sure I made a good play uh, killing Zeratul there, because if at any point through the teamfight he was alive, because everyone was just exploding constantly, he would be able to just warp in, warp out, do his void slash reset, and uh, just murder everybody. So the fact that I was able to catch him and not let him in, I think it worked for us greatly this world will end. so i want to grab this camp but not capture it just yet uh i want to time it so that the objective spawns and then we just like that keep should die thanks to this camp uh, as long as they don't have a bigger wave and grab their own camp it should be a win for us okay thank you for that healing are we invading their stuff we need to be careful with the invades, because um, if we go too deep, it stitches with fishing hook. Uh, so he can just hook out one of our team members and just murder them real fast. Okay, I need like a damage dealer with me here. Can't do this on my own. It's fine. A shrine gathers power. Prepare to That's fine, that's bad. That's bad. So they will, they will win out on the camps. So we really gotta commit to this uh, objective then. And if we can grab it like real fast and then push with it, that should be a win for us. Uh, so we can ignore that camp as long as we are winning this objective. And since we have Gul'dan, like we should, 
Go, go, go. I'm gonna zone them. There is Zeratul. Looking for them hooks. Okay, so far so good. Oh, that was decent attempt. Just spread out a little bit. No reason to suicide. No reason to suicide! Okay, just let Golden win this. Just nine more. Okay, my legion still spawned and it's like killing stitches there. That was a good play by the way. Like this stitches is not like he knows what he's doing. Because uh, he would have shoved, shoved all of us in the corners there and then um, Keltas would have just uh, destroyed us. Oh damn good white prison. Now we are all dead here because of the resets for Zeratul. Damn! Damn, that's bad. And now we are going to lose this keep. In fact, they could even go for the core and kill it. Like, that's, uh, that's Greymane, Zeratul, Keltas. They could have ignored the Punisher and won the game right now. Because Gul'dan won't be here for another minute from now. From now, you know? <laughs> so, that's just... Okay. That's the thing. That's bad. I can't believe we lost it in the end like that. Who got killed first? Stukov got killed, then Nazebo got killed, and then Imperius. No, Stukov, Imperius, Nazebo. Like, has been that's, da that's, that's, that's bad. That's real bad for us. We should not be... I guess they're just diving the backline, right? Like, I don't even remember who Usur Divine Shielded. Look at that, 58%. They could have easily ended the game. But they gave us another chance to fight this. Uh, so I'm cool with that. But we need to stop losing our backline to Zeratul. Like, that's not... That's not good. Like, I... In the previous team fight, like previous from this one, I was able to catch him. But I can't really rely on that too much. Right? Like, that can only happen once per... I don't know, per something. <sighs> Mm, that's a Zeratul here. And that's a Stitches. I would love to just jump on them right now, but we don't have any heroes that do that. Like, we don't really have anybody who is like, Oh yeah, we gotta catch! Let's kill them! That's simply not going to happen. And here comes the... Uh, just destruction of everybody. I think that Void Prison was actually worse for them that, than, uh, like... It did more bad than good. It did more bad than good. Oh, well done. Well done. This is over. Let's end. Whew, okay. Good catch. Good stuff. Uh, I like that Imperius went full cam there, because I was kind of hesitant. I was... I don't know. I, I wasn't sure that we could win that, right? Because of, like our last team fight, even though we had really good positioning and everything, we lost it. Um, but then Zeratul came in with the Void Prison. And it just screwed them so hard, I think. He should have just cancelled it immediately. Because the whole point, like, what they were doing, Stitches was gorging everybody, and then he would just throw them out into all of the Keltas combos, Keltas abilities. And with the Living Bomb explosions, they would, like, explode in a chain. And it would, like, be, be perfect for... Like, every explosion would hit a new person who emerges from the gorge, right? And uh, it... It would have been so much damage, but Void Prison kept us all nice and safe inside the stitches there. And I think even Phoenix was wasted, like half of its duration was completely wasted. Um, but maybe... Maybe like what really carried that is the fact that Zeratul was silenced. 
I actually don't remember whether or not Stukov was, was inside Stitches or if, had, if he had his silence up, like in the middle of the Void Prison, because then Zeratul, while silenced, he wouldn't be able to cancel the Void Prison, right? I think. So maybe that's exactly actually like one, what won that, because um, yeah, it's it's it was a cool fight, so uh, I can't believe we won that. Also, Keltas was that one billion damage. Oh boy, the Master of Flames indeed. We didn't have anybody, like, right? Reason he went for that build uh, is because we didn't really have anybody who can murder him too well. Like, I could catch up to him, and if I do, then he can't escape. But then the only person who can follow up is would be only really, like, Imperius. And one of our tanks should have been staying with the backline anyway, right? Because uh, they have Zeratul and Greymane. So we need to like help some people survive, otherwise it's just one Divine Shield uh, ends the game. Um, damn. I don't, know what the, I don't know what I was saying, but this, this game was hype as hell. This was really cool.